here we go with the Lumion 12 features. I'm not going to lie, I don't think there's going to be as many videos as last year. Last year I made like 10 or 12 videos, I think, going over Lumion 11 features. Uh, I think I only have about five or six planned, and some of them are just kind of a little speculation and talking about it. So uh, this is definitely the biggest feature that got added. Uh, I don't think it's the coolest feature, but I do think that it is probably the biggest feature that they added in. Personally, I do like to see that the fact that they're actually starting to update lights. I don't think that this is going to keep people from, uh, you know, giving D5 free ad space on their videos, but uh, I do think that it is a neat feature. And if you're do someone who's into planning events or doing uh, some stage lighting, things like that, this can come in handy. So I hope you'll stick around to the end of the video and I hope you learned something. Okay, we'll keep this short and sweet, and I'll just kind of show you how this effect works. And yeah, as I mentioned, it's not an actual spotlight that you drop in. So if you're looking in here, you're not going to find it. Just drop in spotlights like you always have. We'll drop in lamp 23, and then I will just duplicate this over, do like three meters. Oops. And then I'll just do it again. To about here and actually I'm just gonna throw one down here because I did want to do something <clears throat> with the pool as well but this will uh, be preemptive and like that reduce the cone down and cool enough okay and from here I'm gonna go into photo mode and I actually had already added those in but uh, what we do is go add effect. Now, I think they actually moved some of these around because I was having a hard time figuring out where everything was. Uh, but yeah, lighting, is, it is fairly straightforward, I guess, when you kind of think about it. I was actually trying uh, artistic, which doesn't really make any sense why, but yeah, lighting is where you want it. The volumetric spotlights is... Oh, I actually never really realized what the thumbnail is. So the thumbnail is actually someone on stage playing the piano, I think, which, yeah, they, they work really well for that. And if we go to select lights, we turn them on. You will notice that in the viewport, these are uh, quite low quality proxies, I guess. So once you click it, it cleans up a lot. And then when you render it, it looks even better. So it uh, you can adjust the density. Now, I don't know exactly how they would have coded this in. To me, I feel like they just took the volumetric sunlight and then basically gave it different properties. But if they're able, you know, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but if that is actually something they're doing, I feel like that opens up the doors for quite a few other kinds of lights. That is how you, you turn it on. So let's, you can change the intensity here. So if you just want a little bit, it does add quite a bit at night. Let me turn this down. The, uh, turn the real skies down a little bit. And I'll actually turn the lights down too. Something I really thought they might change is like, I don't understand why lights are set to 300 by default i've said this before that that's such a ridiculously high number that i genuinely don't understand what this would be used for like 300 to me is like a a, a spotlight not a a, a spot like i mean like an actual like calling batman spotlight so yeah very weird to me so i normally set this to something like i'll just type in like 10. when i'm doing interiors i typically set it to about 20. i find that for a normal size uh a normal height ceiling 20 is typically enough because really it seems like you only have to get the light to touch the floor when the lights are really low value they kind of they don't uh they don't go very far so having that set to 20 typically makes it hit the floor and that's really all i'm interested in and you can that way you can kind of get lighting from other sources but like look at how much better this looks than the 300 i i wish someone could explain this to me because this seems like one of the the dumbest things about lumi on default it so many people don't know what the strength of their light should be. So the fact that it's at 300 almost it ruins everyone's scene. Like I feel like the majority of people that pick up Lumion and use one of those lights, they're going to get a very bad photo because it's just set so high. This you can see that, though. So when it's uh, in the preview, it 
I find that this just helps kind of light this part up because it doesn't look very realistic where there's, there's almost no light up here. But if you turn that on, then it just looks a little bit more real to me. And it kind of makes it look like it's almost a foggy night. And yeah, I do really, really like that. Okay, now it is time to take a look at the pool light. So this one is, in my opinion, not as good as putting it outside. It still does work. And you did see in some of the examples, I need to play around with it to get exactly, you know, have a better idea of what the best controls are. But I think that this works fairly well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the light and I'm going to make it blue because I want it to kind of seem like it's going through that blue water. So let's go into photo mode and I just click around. So I think that the light is a little bit strong here. So it's set to 300, which is, as I said, too high. But if I, did I just make this go the wrong way? Okay, so I'll bring this down to like probably about 87 maybe. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. It might still be a little bit strong. And I am just going to throw on the light source. And then I'll put on the volumetric light. And we'll just kind of go from there. So if I click OK, turn intensity down, fall off down. Yeah, and so obviously that might even still be a little bit strong in itself. Like I said, I haven't played around with the settings, so I'm kind of just winging it here. I haven't played around with the pool settings too much, but I think that you can get a really nice look with it, especially if you have more lights and they're kind of all bouncing off each other. You can kind of make the pool seem like it's a little more alive and interesting. Let's quickly render this out and just see how that looks. Yeah, so this is a little bit strong. I think the hypo is kind of taking it away, but we... Oh. Yeah, I didn't actually know that. So Lumion 12, it actually gives me a notification now. I uh, don't think that was in before, but so there you go. New feature. Um, let's make this a bit smaller. So I'm going to make the density low and the intensity high. Um, you know, the density makes it so you can't really see it through it that well. So I want it to be strong, but also kind of see through. And I think if we, let's try rendering that again, see if that's a little bit better. So I said, I'm doing this with one light. I feel like it would look a lot better if you have quite a bit more, but yeah, you can get a little bit of an effect that makes it look like water at nighttime. And I do think that there could be uh, quite a bit that you can do with that. This is, as I said, probably the biggest feature that came out with Lumion 12, but it's not my favorite. So the video I'm about to record is actually my favorite one. And I'm, I want to dive a little more into it. Um, if this is, this is the flagship, this is the flagship, you know, feature, I guess of Lumion 12. You know, I, I wanted to give Lumion, I guess, a bit of a, a, you know, a fair chance. I didn't want to judge it too much with the D5 stuff, but I mean, it's, it's tough to say that. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, I, I guess I don't want to insult the people that were working on it just because it's, um, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm sure that they did spend a lot of time on, but there's a lot of features that I think are, you know, pretty lackluster. Like this is, this is the kind of feature the the volumetric spotlights, which in other releases, it'd be like a C or a B in the sense that like there'd be, you know, kind of like the A tier features, something like uh, real, real skies, uh, skylight. Those are the features that I think are really like game changing. And I, I don't really feel like there was any in this release. There's some that, you know, maybe they'll materialize into something cool. But for the most part, if this is the biggest feature, like it's, it's nice, you know, it's kind of fun. But, you know, I, I don't know if it's enough to upgrade from Lumion 11. That's that's just my opinion on it. if you're on the fence. You know, I'd see what people are coming up with. If there's a very specific reason why you're using them, you might have uh, more, you know, might have more use for them. But for now, I just keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this is the first time you stopped by my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and also hit the thumbs up. To all the people that have watched me before, I just want to say thank you very much. I did take a little bit of a break there just because I knew that the Lumion 12 features were coming out, so I'd probably have to make quite a bit of videos. And uh, our studio has been getting... Uh, absolutely swamped in the last month or so. So there's just a lot of projects we have to tie up. That's why I haven't made too many videos. I delayed the D5 versus Lumion video just because I felt like when I was recording it, it was almost unfair in a way where I didn't actually know it was coming out with Lumion, but I do still plan on making that at some point so that we can dive a little deeper into that. And I hope to see you in my other Lumion 12 feature videos, which should be coming out later today. Have a great one, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.